Here's Lee Carsey, the man that leads us forward. Mixed messages coming from Lee there. Saying that he, he said in his, uh, his presser afterwards, this job deserves a world-class coach has won trophies, and I'm still on the path to that. Then he comes out and says, my mind is open. 0371722344. Should the FA, though, be breaking the bank for the best elite manager that there is that they can get their hands on, regardless of nationality? This is the final word. Me, Jason, and him over there, Mr. Perry Groves on TalkSport. Hello one, hello all, welcome aboard. Yeah, it was a much improved performance. There were still, however, some deficiencies defensively in our setup. And Finland had one or two chances. Even before we took the lead, there was a one or two. And one nil, they should really have equalised a shot from the six-yard box. Hard up missed, to be honest with you. Eventually, we get the win. Um, a couple of noticeable performances. Greenish, I thought, played particularly well. I thought Trent done well. I thought Declan Rice. Other than that, everyone was a little Gomez. bit... Gomez, Gomez yeah, decent. gave the ball away a few times, but yeah, they had brilliant awareness for the but thing for the, is, the Greenish goal. Giving the ball away, I know we have all stats now, don't we? Yeah. Like yeah. or retention, whatever. Yeah. Then you have to think, why is he giving the ball away? Is he trying to make a forward pass? Is he trying to pierce through? There was like, one. There's there one where he gives it away. On you know, there's that pass. They're trying to break the lines or, yeah. or thread that pass. He give it away. It led to a chart. He did apologise. He's a young man. You know, they, they, this is going to happen. He's going to give. But the I'd ball rather away. he give the ball away. <laughs> Trying to be trying positive pass, rather than going sideways and square, just being safe. Do you know what I mean? So what you get it. You just have to say, just make sure you execute it better. Yep. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Let's should go and speak. Let's go and speak to Ben, who's a Leeds United fan. All right, Ben. Hello, mate. How's Welcome. It going? Hello, right, Ben. Matey, matey. What do you want to say? Well, see all this chat about how we just, as England fans, really want to just let the incredible attacking talent just off the leash. Just go for it. Go and express yourself. I, I feel like. The answer's kind of staring us in the face. Mm, I mean, why don't, we give, why don't we give Bielsa a crack? He's not going to do the usual burnout because he's, he doesn't have the players every day of the week. Um, imagine what he could do with that talent. Imagine. Do you know what? That is proper left field because you've obviously a Leeds United fan and you've seen, yeah. Biel, you've seen basically the, I just call it the, again, the Red Arrows sort of football. It is, where yeah. It's mayhem football, right? Yes, it is, yeah. But... Yeah. You yep. have to be unbelievably fit. So these players yep. are going to be unbelievably fit, as you say, because they're playing one cup. And you basically go man for man. That's how they play. Yeah. So I think maybe at international level, I think you could get caught out in the transitions, obviously when you're defending, because you're going to be playing the better teams that you play. They'll just yep. sit and pick, in there and pick you. Exactly. Mm. They'll sit in there. Mm. It, it's defending. They call it a low block these um, days, isn't they? But it's like yeah, we know defending we deep. Fight. And then they'll pick you off. For- but look what he's done, Perry, with Uruguay. He's turned them from an average team back into like world beaters. They'd never beaten Brazil and Argentina for years. I, I get it. Um, and it's a real curveball one, to be good, honest. Yeah. But It would be exciting to by watch. The way, but... it w- yeah, it ain't going to be dull. Mm. And you're going to see a plethora of attacking players that are going to be put onto the pitch. But you still yeah. need the high level that you go. You still need, I think, you, you need a, a mix between... So Bielsa always, and Southgate, you always, needed somewhere in between. That's, the, yeah, that's always yeah, the balance, yeah. you know, what you do with the ball and what you do without it. That's fair, but he's worth a crack, eh? I mean, you know. Well, uh, one, one thing's for sure, it won't be dull, Ben. As you well no. know, he's been a Leeds fan, all right? And I want to see him sitting on his bucket again. On yeah, the side of, an England man is sitting on a bucket on the side of the pitch. Proper. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, Ben. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Cheers, What's left of it? Bielsa, it feels a little it's bit a too... Curveball. It feels a little bit too much. Doesn't I it? think it's too much for the FA. Feels too much. And for the FA as well. Yeah, it, there's, a, there's a lot going on there. There'll be accusations as well about not being able to speak language properly, yeah, I, which I think he well, understands. We'll, we'll, see his, we'll see his um, interpreter. And the little guy used to stand next to him. Yeah. But the thing is, if he was interpreter, you know when he was talking, would you not throw stuff in oh, there? He hasn't that, said. Well, that's, that's what Just shows as a radio did, didn't Exactly. With, 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 you know, with Bob Robson. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's go and speak to Josh, who's a Liverpool fan. Josh, good evening. Welcome to The Final Word. Evening, gents. You all right, um, uh, Josh? Um, I just want to say, regardless of the um, manager, it could be Carsley, it could be Eddie Howe, it could be Pep Guardiola. I think international football needs to be a bit simpler. Um, they don't spend as much time with the players. And I think we've, what I've learned from these past two games is the wit is essential. We've seen it in the summer with Spain with their two wingers. Mm-hmm. And you see Madueke today. Even Grealish didn't hold the wit like Madueke did. Mm-hmm. But I think that was what's effective. And I think that at international football, when you don't have that time, the simple things of 
wide players making runs to then create space in the middle for the likes of Jude, um, the likes of Kane if he wants to drop in. It, it makes much more sense to me. Do you know what, Josh? If you look at um, Declan Rice's goal, the reason that Declan Rice scores it, obviously it makes a good run into the box, but Ollie Watkins goes on the outside in the wide area. And what happens is you open up different angles. I mean, Jason, I'll tell you, if you're a fullback or a centre-half and your wingers, when they play, the fashion is now when it's have the right foot on the left side, Correct, left on yeah. the right side, yeah. they keep coming in, in, inside, you're happy because you mm. can see everything like laterally. As soon as you go on the outside... You've got to be able to do both, I think. Yeah, Actually, you should be able to do, do both. Do both, but as soon as you go on the outside, the whole back four or back five, you have to change yeah. your angle and then you can't see what's behind you. So... On, I agree with you on the on the whip side, but if you look at um, players like Cole Palmer, he doesn't want to be out on that right hand side. It's not his game, so he's yeah. ruled himself out of playing in that position now mm, yeah, because of his what? attitude and getting a two from he's, like Adrian Durham. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, the width of, the width of the pitch has always become important, in particular when you play against a side that play a back five. That's when you need to stretch the pitch because they want you to come inside. That's that's where their numbers are. And today, there was very little space in around that. It's, it's actually remarkable how we scored the goal, to be honest, the first one, that we've got Angel Gomez picking out that pass because when you play a back five, it's not difficult to defend the edge of your box. It should be quite easy because yeah. of, of the numbers. If you're, if you're midfield forward... And you're, if your distances are right between you, your wing back, you should be, free centre And there was an element of that, of that tonight. That they, you know, they, it, there's that white wall, and the block of four and a five. It's, it's not easy to poke your way through there. The width, the, that's when you use the width. And then, of course, you need to move the ball quickly. Two touches. Don't have four, fours and fives. Thanks for the call, Josh. Let's go speak to Dave, who's a Villa fan. Up the Villa. All right, Dave I do not scratch right, Dave. I'm all right, Dave. Uh, did you, where did you watch the game, Dave? I was at home with the family. Oh, did I'm you get excited, Dave? Was you like in your England bobble hat and scarf with your rattle? No, no. <laughs> listen, listen, after after the midweek game, definitely, definitely not. I think we've, we, we've got a team of elite players being managed by somebody who would struggle to get a championship job. Let, let, let's be real with that, yeah? That's a bit harsh. He's is great bringing players through yep. different level when you get to that elite level, and that's where we're at now. We've got players that are elite. We need to get in a manager who's used to dealing with elite. Players. Who then? Who Dave? Because it's not Lee Carsey. Well, Cut. My opinion. Say again. We missed out on Poch, in my opinion. It should have been Poch, yeah? But you've got Thomas Tuchel out there. German, yeah. yes. I, I would, know. I would I go for I him right now, yeah. I don't stick there and go, no, it's got to be English, it's got to be English. Give right. us the best chance of winning something. I don't care who right. it is. I don't care what they look like, male, female. The best manager for me needs to be there managing the team. We're going to come up against sides most most of the time that are going to be below our standard, that are going to stick 11 men behind the ball and are going to be difficult to break down. And unfortunately, it's proven with Southgate and now with Carsley that we can't get through that. So we need to go out there and, and, and just try something different because doing the same thing over and over again didn't get us anywhere, did it, unfortunately? Do you, not Do you know what, Dave? Dave? Sorry, I was going to say, on. sorry, Jace. I, agree to, I don't care if it's a Martian in, no. in charge of England. No, yeah. I don't care. I, yeah. If you get the drag the best out of this group of players mm. because... The elite players will look at you in training and go, all right, yeah, everybody says that, no, oh, training stepped up a gear, you know, it's more intense. Everybody says it when a new man takes over. <laughs> then they look at you, your first team talk at half-time, if things aren't going well, they look at you and think, come on then, you've got to give me the answers. You've got to say what we need to do. That's where you're judged. Exactly. And Cardi didn't do it because he no, couldn't see that's, it. That's what I'm saying. Carsey wouldn't, wouldn't get a job. I know, but that's... I, I was to find a job well, in the Premier League it, where he'd get into, yeah? I know, but it, that, that's, he's been asked to do a job. He's come off the bench. Correct. The FA have found themselves in a situation where they don't have a manager for the national side, and he's, he's yeah. stepped in. So I think we need to be grateful that he is prepared to do this, because it's as, as he's found out, Dave, over the last three or four days... It's an incredibly difficult job if things don't go well. He has been slaughtered James, in some sort of way. Hold on, hold on, He hasn't done us a favour. <clears throat> no, he has, no, Perry. He, he has. hasn't. No, no he, he hasn't. Has. I think, no, he has, because he could have turned it down, Perry. No. He could have said he no. He hasn't done us because he's managed the under-21s, right? Yes, but he's done us a favour. He's looked at this group of players, yeah, and he's looked at these three teams we're playing against yeah. with the six games, and mm. he's thought, do you know what? If I win five out of six... Or and draw one or win all six. I get the job here. We don't know what he's so thinking. So he hasn't done us a favour. Well, look, look, I think personally, but what I've heard, he's not interested in the job from what we know. And I don't know. I'm not him. But he could have turned that job down a little bit like Southgate did originally before Sam Allardyce took the post. And he's he stepped in. The FA have gone to him and said, "Look, we need you to step in for these three camps." But he's not going to say okay? no, is he? Well, no, he's not. I'm saying. Well, he could have done. 
But they're Chase, free hits. We should be beating these done. teams. Yes, we should be beating it. these teams. The players we've got, regardless of who we've got. Oh, no, I don't disagree with that. These teams. And we're, I don't, I don't and we're making it difficult. You look at how we're playing, and, and it's making it difficult. How you can't get 11 of some of the best talent. I, and look, there are players there who need a swift kick. You know, to, to, to get them shifted into gear because they don't. Kick where? Is that what you? Is that you, Dave? Dave? Where are you going to kick them? Where are you them? kicking them, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Where, 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 you know, yeah. No, no. Where, where are you going to kick them, Dave? You're the manager, Dave, manager of England. Where are you kicking them? And At half kicking? time, you can say, right, yeah. <laughs> brace yourselves, chat. Here we come. Dave, I'm putting Dave, my side I'm nines <laughs> predators on. Dave, Dave, Dave's going to come and smash you in the unmentionables. <laughs> That's your team talk. There's your team talk. Have some of that. Get, <laughs> get yourself out there. Don't perform week in week out. Talk the backside from Dave. Dave doesn't perform for England the way he does. He says, Watkins on the bench yeah. midweek is giving minimal minutes today. There's, yeah. there's options there and we're not doing it. It's, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. Just going through it's like ground dog day all over again. And that, that excitement that you used to feel when you were younger, it's, it's just, it's not there anymore. And that's what I want to get back to. I want, a, I want an exciting manager, one who can test us and push us to the max defensively. Right, Dave. What, do what, do what, what do you do for a living, Dave? Let's push forward. What do you do for a living? He's a cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Civil engineer. You're civil engineer. You're boss? Yeah. What, uh, <laughs> Did you give him a shit kicking? <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> when he got the old Fiona like he's like, Where you go? You give him a good kicking. What, what? <laughs> that's back to the eighties, that is it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's old school, Dave. Dave, appreciate yeah. it. Nice Cheers, Cheers man, Dave. There he is. Oh, Peace. I agree. I agree with him. Agree with him. Kick him a good yeah, kick. give him a good shift one, give, right? In the, the, in as the they're going out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, I agree with him on the Thomas Tuchel, right? Because <laughs> well, that's a question. I don't know. He's available, what our listeners, Perry. Because I think he is the best available. I, I'd rather that you had the best English manager, because I think you should be in your ideal world. In the ideal world, uh, yeah. right? But I've got no problem with Thomas Tuchel, but the what you get thrown at you will be, all right, England playing Germany in the World Cup final. Oh, come on. I don't Who does Thomas that. Tuchel well, look, win? That was Sven, right? Sven played Sweden. You know? Yeah, but Sweden were never <clears> going to get in the World Cup final. Will they? No, no. But th- th- he was faced with that same scenario. And, you know, who knows with uh, with uh, Dave's uh, ability there to, to, uh, to manage. Team talk. Team talk. Dave, you're going to get a swift one to the, you know, Brace where. yourself, chaps. <laughs> Here it comes. So we've got to throw it out there. Thomas Tuchel, he is available. Should the FA go after him? Does it bother you that Tuchel is Germany? I, I couldn't care less, quite frankly. No. If he's the best man for the job and available, he ticks an awful lot of boxes. Should the FA go out and bring him in? 03717 On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.